You know, not all hairsprays are considered equal or created equal. Many of them have different purposes. For instance, if I want this hair on Margot to go away from her face, I could spray some of the light hairsprays on it all day long and all it does is build up. But I'm gonna take a Jeffrey Paul holding spray, I'm gonna spray it in there, I'm gonna hold it for just a minute and I'm just gonna press and mold and frame her face to cause that kind of look to give her the volume working away from her face. That's the hold, holding spray. But now, if I want to really get just the luster to be able to move her hair and really just give her a hold that will hold all day but won't be hard and that she can brush through because it's water soluble, I'm going to work with the finishing spray of a quash. And if I just want it to be shiny, just shiny but moving all over the place, turn this way, I'm just going to use a spray that's going to give me all kinds of movement. But look at the shine that you get out of that hair and the movement. Shake your head one time, Mark and the movement out of it. But there are other sprays out there. And there are sprays that are not water soluble and there are sprays that will build up, I hate to do this to you, I'm so sorry, that will become plasticky and literally, when you go to comb through it, <laughs> I mean, it's just one of those things that the kind of hairspray you wanna use is the kind of hairspray that your hairdresser really recommends for your look and that doesn't happen to you. So again, the holding spray of Jeffrey Paul, the Beyond spray for shine, and the finish spray from Aquage gives you the ability to really look natural, but using it for its purpose and its design. So again, give us your comments. Ask us the questions that'll help you not end up like this at the end of your styling day.